we're seeing here today is an exhibition of the output of the students' work who have been here at the Playhouse for the last four weeks. The students who are studying on a master's programme at Artes, University of the Arts in the Netherlands and they've come to the, the Playhouse to do a residency programme. Over the past two years, students have come for approximately a month from the Netherlands to Northern Ireland, to Derry, to the Playhouse, and we create a programme of activity that enables those students to learn, to learn from a range of voices, whether it be artists, community members, activists, and from that, the students, each of the students find their own journey of making art. My work is an exploration of a creative process in which I call the transitional space, which I'm exploring the women's position here in Ireland. So the piece behind is the kind of material in which I used to perform on. So I it was on the ground in the beginning, and it was in this space in between the playhouse and this derelict building. And I have my hair tied up now, but I plaited linen in my hair as symbolic to Branya O'Molly, the pirate queen from Galway, who had to shave off her hair. So it was almost metaphorical. I wanted to add more hair and then I painted, I put black ink and beetroot on the ends of my hair and I painted on this piece. But also it was raining at the time, so it's kind of the leftovers of the ink, but mixed with the environment of the, of the rain. It's called the theatre of space. And what I wanted to do was actually bring up the stories uh, and the narratives behind the spaces. These are the photos that I took from around the dairy. And I ask people, what's your experience uh, behind the photos? They can either say the truth or they can lie. But I find the connection between vowels and the space. So I put these photos in the place of uh, vowels and I create a word and then uh, by the word I take the, the photos as a sequence and go back to the uh, back side of the, uh, the paper which is I, I symbolically call this bridge and I start write a poetry about the words. I did uh, a drawing first. It uh, present the history of, of Derry and all what happened before with the troubles and with, a, with different communities. I made it with one line, which is present that everything is connected with each other. And in the end, there is, a, there is the woman uh, with a child, which is to present the life, asking to save the future. And, and it's in all in your hands. What I chose to use are the bonfires and they are being seen as negative but if you look closely at it there is also a lot of positivity within that. It, it connects a, a, a society, a group of people, there's organization skills. At the very top uh, there are direct quotes that I have written down from all my conversations and I started to analyze them. What did they say? What did they actually mean? And what are the core values that are behind it? And I was looking at the core values and there were actually hope for the future, fear, but also excitement. And how can you work from that? From my perspective, looking at what the students have produced, looking at how they're talking now, and looking at and which, which indicates how they're thinking, it says to me this is an absolutely outstanding experience and worthwhile for them and their development. A conflict has an energy about it, and it was the, the, these artists tapped into that. And then they met individuals, they met communities, and out of that came their artwork that was informed by here. So bringing people together today was one way of starting the conversation, starting the dialogue to be able to ask this question and find out from the field itself, the people who are affected and impacted by the arts, what, what it is which has worked for them and also what hasn't worked for them. For me, Theatre of Witness showed me what part I played in that conflict. I could say that I was part of the conflict from the point of view of witnessing and responding to atrocities like the Kosh Quinn bomb uh, in 1990, which killed seven, and also the Oma bomb in 1998, which killed 29. The passion of some of those whilst they were speaking ignited a fire within me that I'm enthused to work better and to, um, I suppose, use some of the concepts. The idea that art can be a mirror that allows us to see ourselves anew, I'm, I think it was Breck that also said that it can be a hammer to, to shape the world. Just being able to hear about all of the different 
projects and all the different things going on, not just in a local context but globally. Well, the first exhibition was around issues of asylum. Uh, two years later, uh, they decided to deal with um, violence against women. I come back from here really inspired and uh, with lots of ideas about how this can influence what we're doing in the Netherlands. We are building connections and we're building partnerships and relationships and thinking about new ideas.